Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Hi, everybody in chat. Thanks for joining me. Bethy's Barn, Shamanic Journey, Maha is here, Pagan Crafting is here, Flamingo Hurricane, Elena is here, Helpful Natural is here. Welcome to everybody. We are working on a watercolor painting of the uh, Norse goddess Frigg. And I tried to include a spinning wheel or at least the kind of illusion of a spinning wheel behind her. Which she uses to spin the clouds. And some a little bit of mistletoe at the top here and some holly as well. Some of our more wintry herbs and flowers. Hello Jody and Erica and Mystical Misty. So I'm just using a kneaded eraser to remove some of the lines here. We're not remove them but just lighten them a little bit so they're not quite as dark. This is going to be kind of a very um, line art driven drawing so I don't really have to remove a lot of these guys. Hope you guys are all having a good day. Hello from Sweden. Hello. Sharon is here. Erica says, I'm coming into Lithia, Litha, but happy Yule to everyone else. So you must be in the Southern Hemisphere. Maha says, I can't attend this one. I have too much grading to do final exam. So love to you all. I will have to watch the restream. <laughs> so Maha was here and they're gone. <laughs> it's always good to see them, even if for just a second. Okay, let's call that probably pretty good. Isa's here. Hi, Isa. I put together our palette. First, I want to show you the um, the Scarlet Nymph palette that we put together for this goddess. And it's also perfect for Yule. So let's zoom in, shall we? Because I can't put my hands up that high. Oh, zooming in. There we go. So the fun um, wax stamp is this gorgeous Norse looking, almost hammer design. I love it. I always like to take the, um, the wax seal and save it and maybe I can use it for something else. So it's always fun. So let's take a look at this palette. I know it has a lot of reds and greens and I think gold and silver for Yule. Oh yeah. You can kind of see there's some, um, it's a little bit more matte and a little bit more shiny. And then this insanely sparkly one we have Silvers, golds, and three different greens. And this white is like a snowy white, but it kind of goes a little green, or maybe it's picking up the green of its next door neighbor. I'm not sure. I love it. Looks very burgundy that way and kind of pink that way. So it's like a shift. Let's look at them. Okay, turning it, I think it goes this way. Yes, it does. Okay. So you can see them in person, live, and wow, I love it. So I bought some paint because I want to repaint two walls in my house. 
and it's called olive black. So it's not a true black. It kind of has an olive feel to it. And I almost feel like this right here is olive black because you can kind of see it's a, it's a black, like coal in your stocking black. But it also has this kind of sheen to it. So it kind of feels like an olivey black, if that makes sense. These look great. I can't wait to dip into these guys. There's lots of greens, so I'm going to use one for holly and one for um, mistletoe for sure. And also our little holly berries as well. Okay. And I want to use the gold in her, um, in the brocade around her neck because I have kind of a, like a brocade pattern here. And the silvery white, I think. Maybe the gold white. Which do you guys like better? It's kind of a golden white. No, I think the other one looks a little more like snow, so I think we'll pull that one. Okay. So those are the ones we probably dip into. But I don't really see where the olive black would work, because I want to do the spinning wheel in kind of a brown. So it indicates that it's wooden and her hair is probably going to be a kind of maybe a gold or a reddish gold. Let's just see where, where the, the spirits take us. <laughs> Just put some yellow and some orangey yellow together. That might work for her hair. Just take a very little bit, put it in the water there. And again, we're going to struggle to make a skin tone, probably oh, just a tiny bit of brown and a tiny bit of pink to try and get a skin tone. And then just add a little white to it to make it a little more opaque. And lighten it up a little bit. Because I think this is probably a pretty pale complected person. So we'll throw some white in there. GC made it. Welcome. I think that's a pretty good pale, pale skin tone. Let's see. Let's try. It. Let's test it out. Usually I'll make up a whole palette, but I just want to try this. I think that looks pretty good because it's going to dry it just a bit lighter than what it shows here. And I'll go ahead and go over the lips because we're going to come back in with a warmer tone on that. Same with the brows. We can fill in the brows with a little bit of brown later or maybe an orangey blonde. Oh, my paint is uh, didn't mix it perfectly, so it's separating a little bit there. 
There we go. Mix it on the mix it on the paper if you have to. <laughs> Oops, missed the eye, there we go. Perfect. I do like that skin tone, because I think it's gonna dry a little bit lighter. Now we don't have to, we don't have to struggle. Get a little tiny bit closer. Lisa says, the olive black is gorgeous. Will you be using it in this painting? I wonder if I should just test it before I use it. I wasn't going to, but I'm really, I'm really drawn to it. It feels very green once I dip into it. Let's just give it a try on one of the holly leaves and see what comes out. Yeah, it feels actually green. Nope, there's the black. Okay, so I'm conflicted. It's probably not great for the holly leaf. It's so funny. See how there's like, it's green and black. So it's like, I think I'm gonna see if I can't uh, dab this up though. Cause it's a little too black for a holly leaf. Oops, that was me in the wrong Google window. I made it hooray. Hello, Red Lorraine and Scarlet Nymph. We just looked at your all your paints. These are the not chosen. These are the chosens. We popped them over here and the, put them here this time. If you guys are interested in getting this palette or any of the other goddess palettes that I've shown you in the past year, you can go to Scarlet Nymph on Etsy. And there's a link below the stream with a discount code as well. Not sponsored. They are just a good friend of mine. And I love their products, so I always use them. And we work together on making these goddess palettes. And this is the last one, you guys. That's it. 12 palettes in 12 months. 12 goddesses. Of course, they're going to continue to be available in the shop. They're not going to go away. But when I say that's it, this is the last goddess painting. We're giving her some blonde highlights. It's like I'm a hairstylist. Lisa says, it definitely looks green in the tin, but not on the paper. Yeah, it did look green on the paper for a second, but then it started to go more black because I think it's supposed to be more light coal in your stocking. And so I just dabbed it up. So don't take this as a, an example. <laughs> it's not what it really looks like. I think this one is really going to look good with all the black lining that we do at the end. That's why I didn't take too much of the pencil lines off because I'm going to do a lot of kind of heavy lines on this one. I'm just going in with a little bit darker here under the highlights.
Does anybody have any fun travel stories from the holidays? Did anybody go anywhere interesting or fun? I spent a week with my family in Arizona, but I travel there all the time, so it's not a very exciting story. You know, when I go and visit family, we we did um we did a fun exchange game because we did our Yule gift exchange and Christmas gift exchange during the Thanksgiving holiday because we're not going to be able to get together for the Christmas holiday. And so we uh, had a fun, we, we did the white elephant exchange where you get small gifts for people and it's a game where you, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the white elephant is, but just in case you don't, uh, you get to pick a gift and you don't know what's in it, but when you open it up, then it's uh, available to be stolen by somebody else. And if your gift is stolen, then you get to open another one or steal somebody else's gift. And there's usually a certain number of steals until an item is, you know, officially dead so that you can kind of estimate how many times something's been stolen, if you can get to keep it. <laughs> it's kind of a fun game. And we do three rounds of that and our family has a great time. Ooh, she looks pretty already. Oh my goodness. Isa says, wow, no more goddess paintings. What will you be doing instead of goddesses for next year's paint with me's or will there be no more of that? Oh yes, we will still have an art live stream every first Wednesday. Art Witch Wednesday is not going away. We will still be doing that. Um, I am finally, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I am finally going to be doing my own original artwork um, oracle card deck. And next year during our Art Witch Wednesdays, I will be painting a card every month. Obviously the deck will be more than 12 cards when it's finished, but I will be painting 12 with you guys and then other ones will get painted not with you guys <laughs> but I'm sure that I will put little short videos out showing some of the other card designs as well that I paint throughout the year and I hope to have it done you know by 2025 sometime maybe early mid-ish 2025 Oh, this one's coming out so good, you guys. Who just got here? Did I miss somebody? Harlow's here. Hi. I'm just going to do a base of this brown, and then I think I'll add some wood, um, wood textury lines after that. When I dabbed off the paint, it just left the gold flecks behind or the greenish gold, so it's kind of interesting. Guys, I just dabbed into the yellow. I was not paying attention. I was looking down here. We can fix it. It's fine. That went way yellow though because yellow has so much more pigment than most other colors. If you've ever done watercolor or gouache, the yellow and the oranges to me seem like they're super pigmented. I'm sure there's some science behind that. Have you ever noticed that green is less pigmented or some of the greens are? I feel like that, at least that's kind of my non-scientific opinion. I 
Now these paintings become my pen pal cards for my pen pal patrons. If you'd like to become a pen pal patron, you can, there's a link below. So my pen pals are going to be getting professionally printed Oracle card artwork as their pen pal cards each month. because the painting I do on Art Witch Wednesday becomes my pen pal card. So that'll be interesting. I kind of knew that, but I hadn't really thought about it. So it'll be interesting to see it professionally printed because I send out my cards every month to be um, professionally printed at a printer. So it'll kind of give me an opportunity to see my Oracle cards printed in a kind of a large format because a greeting card is much larger than an Oracle card. So it's kind of a, a fun way of doing quality control on my print run. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. I think we need to get some darker brown in there though, right? at least a little bit of shading and a few little, you know, tree textures. Have we finally gotten a single um, piece of art that doesn't look terrible at the beginning because usually we start out pretty bad. And we have to kind of just hope that everything works out in the end. Oh, she looks great. Did I miss anybody? Hello to anybody? I may have missed when I was looking down. Let's put some gold. Let's get all up in this gold. Look at that. Before I get dip into it, look at the pretty little um, stamping. Look at that. Isn't it cool? I love the stamping. get a little closer in here so we can see a little bit of detail. Oh, it looks so cool. You can't even see it. Well, when it dries, I'll show it to you. But I'm going to also do the neck of her gown with the gold. It looks super shiny to me, but in the camera, not so much. So I'm gonna do her little hair ties with gold. I'm going to 
have so much fun outlining this. So one of the things I have to tell you guys about the oracle card paintings is that I oftentimes feel a bit rushed to finish a goddess painting in the two hours I give myself for the live stream. But for the oracle cards, um, since it's going to be a printed product and it's going to be something that kind of lives on for years and years, I'm not going to rush on, on stream to try and finish a card. So it might end up that the streams have like unfinished artwork. I'm not sure how long each card will take, but I definitely will not be, I will not be rushing through anything. So either the streams will have to get longer or I will just have to do what I can. Do we feel like her eyes are hmm, brown? What color do we think her eyes are? Blue? Should we go for like some other worldly color like a goldy green or something? Hmm. Where should we go with, with the eyes? Hello again, Milo. I'm loving her so far. She's so cute. Do you think she has blue eyes maybe? Or maybe green gold? I don't know. Let's get let's get into this uh let's get into this. Um we have some um mistletoe and some holly. So once again I want to get into this like kind of shiny green from um, the Goddess palette. Let's see what I can get going here. Is that reading on camera? That's another one we're gonna have to wait for it to dry and then I'll show it to you. Maybe I'll do a base green underneath and then cover it with the more shiny green. That way we don't have too much metallic the whole painting can't be metallic. Well, I suppose it could. But I find that the metallic paints don't translate when I have these professionally printed because they don't print in a metallic paint or a metallic ink. So it's kind of lost when I do the actual printing portion. But look at this gold now. Look at the gold of her headband and her um, her neckline. Kind of see now that it's starting to dry. to see have some eraser marks there but kind of see the shine on the green as well
really kind of like this um, kind of almost like a carved wooden shape and that's supposed to be the, the mistletoe. So it doesn't have any realism to it, but you can still get the idea of like what it's supposed to be. It's almost as if it's carved into stone or wood. We have green gold, we have lavender, we have blue or green. I mean, I guess blue feels kind of Nordic, right? We have a lot of different green in the, in the piece, so I thought green might be cool. Let's see if we can just kind of we have this darker, we have this darker, um, really forest green, and I think I'm gonna go back in to the holly and see if I can cover that one up because it's a little, it's a little too much for me. So I'm using the paler green for the mistletoe and I'm using the more dark uh, foresty green for the holly. I always think that no matter what happens, I can always fix it in Photoshop at the end before it goes to the printer. That's not bad. I think I'll put the details back in with a white pen because it's so dark. And then that will super pop. My list says, I like the circlet or crown or whatever. I'm not good at complex nouns. <laughs> Yeah, most of the pictures that I've seen of people drawing her, she has um, a circlet on her head, some kind of little crown or something. So I wanted to include it, but I didn't want it to mess up the hair that I had already drawn. So I just kind of tucked it underneath. Wow, this green is really pigmented. I love this green. It really feels like deep forest. I can also see uh, like somebody painting a fir tree with this green and then painting the shadows with this green for sure. And we got a couple more holly up here at the top. a little thin. I'll darken that up. I'll let that dry and I'll darken that up in just a second. How many of you guys um, also come to my crafting live streams? I know a lot of you pop into that as well. Because I wanted to let everybody know that in 2024, I'm going to start offering kits, craft kits. 
so that people can craft along with me so we can do it together I'm trying to figure out how to actually offer kits to people and that so they have enough time to know that it's happening and to order them so that they'll have them on the day that I actually do the live stream so I'm not really sure how far in advance to tell people I guess maybe a couple of weeks so for shipping but I'm going to figure all that out this month because I'm going to start offering kits in, in January. And we'll see how that goes. That might just be like a one time thing where I just try it for a year. If it goes well, you know, I might keep doing it or I might just see how it goes. And if it's, if it's not successful, just want to try it see you know throw some spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks if, if you get my meaning these lines are too defined and too well blurred there we go get the glitter everywhere Pagan Crafting says, I'm so excited for the Oracle deck. I have mad respect for doing your own art as well. I can't wait to see your art. Thank you. I am super nervous about it because I want all the cards to be cohesive. But if you guys saw my goddess series, if you took all my goddess cards and put them side by side, you would realize that I don't have much consistency <laughs> to my style. I just drew whatever I drew. So... Yeah, I am concerned about consistency because I really want the deck to be cohesive. But I really feel like that's just a color palette choice thing. As long as you have a cohesive color palette, you're probably pretty good. Let's make some red berries out of this red. Plus, I love this cranberry red from the palette. I'm leaving the um, mistletoe berries white, so I'm just going to do the holly berries. This is a kind of a really pinky red, so I think I'm also going to really, really water this down and try to do the lip. Lisa says, I would totally buy a craft kit to do it along with you because I'm definitely a paint by numbers kind of artist. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be the art. It's going to be the craft stream. So that's the third Wednesday of every month. I'm also going to be providing patrons with like a mood board for every month at the beginning of the month because I'm not going to be providing sketches. So if you're painting along with me using the sketch that I provided on Patreon, this is the last one of those as well, because I'm not going to be providing sketches of my Oracle art. So instead, I wanted to make sure that there was at least uh, some reward kind of as a backup. Let's see if we can do a nice light pink lip. said they checked and they and the um for the eye color oh boy i'm 
missed a bunch of chat. I'm sorry you guys blue or green for the eyes. Somebody said they looked up the eyes. I just Googled. Okay, helpful said. I just Googled what color Frigg's eyes are and it said they were gold. I kind of like was feeling the gold. Shamanic says, you're using all this yellow and gold and I was balancing my solar plexus today. I missed all this chat up there. Okay, so I like the idea of gold. Let's do gold and then see if it's too crazy. If it's too crazy, we can always back it back in some blue or something. But I say let's just go for it. She is a goddess after all. Ooh, I love. Then we will definitely be doing a lot of work on her line work. Do we think the background should be? I was thinking of doing the snowy white, but that might be a little crazy. Like, what do we think of that? Mm, is that too crazy to try and do as a background? So the inside of the iris is going to be all black. What color should her gown be? Should we use more of this red? Should we bring another little bit of the cranberry? Bring the cranberry in? Because all we have right now are just the, um, the little holly berries. Oh, I forgot to do these holly berries. I don't think I'm going to do the white in the background just because I have so much glittery mica on this painting that I need a, a matte background, I think. We have a shiny holly berry right next to a shiny, I mean a holly leaf right next to a shiny sleeve. So it's like shiny on shiny on shiny. I've been designing my new planner for 2024 today. I know, of course, I'm getting it out at the last possible second that I can get it out in order to have one for my plan with me in January, or I should say at the end of December. But I'm having a lot of fun making stickers. I think the 
the patron stickers, planner stickers, are going to be like at least four pages of stickers, maybe five, because I'm having so much fun making little icons and just fun little ideas, redesigning my whole situation. Trying to make them useful, but also kind of witchy, but not too witchy because I don't think people really need to be witchy 24 seven. Like they need a planner that also <laughs> just works with a regular life. So it's kind of a balance. I don't want to presume what everybody needs. I just want to have like a planner that's very blank so that people can write in what they need because everybody's life is so different. but I don't want it to be too blank because then people could just use a blank piece of paper just as well. It's kind of a balancing act. But I've never changed the design of my planner since I put it out a few years ago. I've just kept the same design. So I'm kind of having fun redesigning the pages. It's gonna to be totally different. And it's still going to be blank enough that anybody can start any time. It doesn't have to be started in January. My planner stickers will have the names of the months and that kind of stuff, but not my actual planner itself. So it's kind of going to be an undated thing that anybody can start at any point. There can never be too much glitter. Sarah is right. 100%. Okay, these are holly berries. I forgot to, oops, drips. Fix that in Photoshop. I forgot that I'm gonna keep those berries white, but I wanted to make these berries red. We really do have a lot of primary colors here with the red and the yellow. I'm just not sure about the background. I want it to be light, but hmm, what do you guys think? Sarah says, I just subscribed to your Patreon. Thank you. <laughs> Hades is officially freezing over. Amy just said that she thinks there's too much glitter. But you guys, we can't put glitter on glitter on glitter. There has to be some separation. We could, though. I mean, we could. We're going to use a lot of black line work. What do you guys think? As a background, we have all these colors to choose from. Or we could just go with the snowy... Snowy white. Tracy says, hi, will your planner be available in the UK? Yes, um, it's, I do um, Amazon KDP. So if you guys can get my magical crafting books, there's a link below the stream. You can just click on it. And if you guys can get any of those magical crafting books, you'll be able to get my planner because it'll just be um, part of my magical crafting book series. And I'm leaving my old planners up as well. So if you really love the design of the old planner and you don't want to switch, 
those will still be available. I just wanted to design a new, a new thing for my plan with me videos. So it's the last Friday of every month. They're starting to get a little formulaic. So I wanted to, wanted to have a new formula. Everybody who has an opinion on what the background color should be, say so in chat. I'm just goofing around until everybody votes. Everybody, everybody tell me what you think. Do we leave it white? Would that be crazy? It looks kind of plain though. I usually put a color back there. We don't have to. I can't make it a red background, Karima, because I just made red a red shirt. Hello from New Jersey. Hello. if you're feeling daring. OMG. With the holly. I am feeling daring. What if it was matte black? Let's do our line work first. We got everything. Red, blue, white, black, purple. Tracy, I feel like I've been dared. It would look, and you imagine, just imagine all the white, black. That would pop. I mean, and there was an amazing matte black in one of the palettes, but I'm not leaving the stream to go get it, but I could use my lamp black. But let's start doing our line work first, and then we will have a line to go against for our matte black. That feels smart. Because there's nothing here that wouldn't pop off of black, and these are a little bit dark, so we might have to line them with white, but we already had the plan to do all the lines inside of the holly with a white pen, so that would totally work. Tracy's all daring, daring me. Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Matte black. It's the last goddess painting of the year. I, I feel I'm ready. This is what I've been training for. But let's start doing some lines first. Yeah, let's get in here. So we've got our white pen, so we can make our, our um, eyes really deep and black, and then we can give it a little white highlight and do all the little fancy highlight stuff. So I am just using these little Micron pens. I notice that they're not actually waterproof. They're water resistant. So always check your pens. As soon as I draw on these eyes, though, the camera is going to uh, understand it's a face and then start putting the little square around it.
Okay, I said some thick lines, but I think that might be a little too thick. Let's go a little thinner than that. And I will be turning this sideways so that I can get the other eye because I'm so left-handed it's hard to do the right hand stuff. Oh, I could have drawn that line just a little bit straighter. Fix it in Photoshop. And then do some thicker lines in the hair and then some thinner lines. Red paint is still a little bit wet. No, I like that. Just a really simple outline of the hair. It doesn't have to be too complex. Oh yeah, I think a black background is going to be great. Red Lorraine says, I have also learned the lesson not to accept dares anymore on account of the dare to do a shot of ranch dressing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Could have been worse. Let's see, I'm going to do a thick line on the outside here. It's not going to matter because if we do a black background, this is this line is just going to go away. of the screen. Ok, 
Yeah, it's helpful, natural. That cured me of ever wanting to accept tears. <laughs> <laughs> my YouTube name is Jody, says Jody, for my author life, but my name is Tracy's, and every time you say Tracy, my I pop up like yes. <laughs> I have a friend who has something similar where they have a the, uh, an author name and they have it as their uh, username on some of their accounts, but not all of their accounts. So to remember who's who. amazing how the line work makes it come together. I do feel like there should be some brown right there though because I missed it. wondering I wanted to ask everybody it's kind of a strange question but I watch reality TV when I go and visit family and we're always trying to find like a good reality TV show but I don't really watch reality TV any other time when I'm home so I was wondering if any of you guys do if you have any shows that you would recommend because we kind of are running out of things to watch And you never really know if it's going to be good or not until you've committed all sorts of time. Hey, Inka Dinka Doodle is here. I think I'm going to turn her upside down so I can do this side without feeling... So left-handed. I just always hate the fact that half of my drawing looks like a child did it because it's on the right-hand side of the drawing. <laughs> if I could just turn it upside down and we would all be fine. Inka, did you just get here? Helpful says the only reality shows we watch is Dancing with the Stars and Holiday Baking Championship on Food Network. Ooh, I do love a good cooking show. I guess the Great British Bake Off Holiday Edition is coming to Netflix or is already just arrived at Netflix. I'm not sure.
have watched a couple of episodes of Dancing with the Stars. I really like the ones like the mole or like anything where you have to like kind of do a puzzle or race against the clock. Um, those are fun ones like um, Amazing Race and stuff like that. We have to do a task or answer questions or uh, travel somewhere and figure something out from the clues. I love those kinds. It's probably why I love escape rooms. <laughs> okay, turning sideways. I feel like I could have made a lot more um, delicate designs inside the wood. But I left it kind of plain. We do kind of need to give her a little bit more a little of those little white dots in the eyes that makes it make the eyes look like it, they have a little bit of moisture to them. Oh no, my bad, my bad. I'm coming back right now. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wasn't paying attention to my timer. As I was doing artwork. Because says, oh, you know, I've watched the holiday baking thing and the Great British baking thing. And at least I picked up some baking and cooking pointers from them. I feel like I, I pick up pointers with every cooking show. Even the ones that are silly where they have to like beat the clock or use weird food. I feel like you can learn something from all of them. Not that we have to always be learning something we can just have some fun and be silly in our recreation time sometimes I get into these productivity kicks where everything I'm doing needs to be something that's productive until I realize wait a second that's not true It's starting to look really cool. Her hair needs some more lines and stuff. But what do you guys think? Do we do a black background? Oh, I forgot to draw in her little, her little um, designs in here. Here we go, got some designs in there. I think 
Yeah, right? I think we do go with the black background. I mean, if we do this, we can't fix it in post. It is what it is once we've done this. There's no, like, we can Photoshop our way out of this. But we're doing it because I'm not afraid. I think it's going to be good. It's going to take a second. I wanted to start with a small brush just for, you know, really being able to control it, but I might get a bigger brush for the outer portion. So a lot of you might know that I am doing the keto diet. I started it on, I think it was either Litha or Llamas. I think I started on Llamas, that's what it was. Because everybody was commenting, you're doing it something where you can't have bread on Llamas. <laughs> I remember somebody commenting that. And um, I'm happy to report that I have lost 30 pounds since I started. So I'm super excited about that wanted to report to anybody who was curious or who had been wondering but didn't want to ask. I'm going to keep going with that for some time. Hopefully it will continue to work. I hit a couple of plateaus and thought it stopped working for a while there, but then I got back on track and it came back. So I'm going to keep trying. What do you guys think? This is actually working out quite well. I feel, I feel good about this black idea. I can't take credit for it, but I will definitely say that I am on board. I know a good idea when I see it. I can steal a good idea when I hear it. This is so Christmassy. So much like the holidays and Yuletide, winter solstice -y. It's like all the colors. I need to add a little brown right there. Shamanic says, my nails are nice. Thank you. I did red for the holidays. Like I said, we did our, our Christmas gift exchange with my family on Thanksgiving. And we also did a Christmas picture. So everybody didn't dress up at all for the um, Thanksgiving holiday. We all dressed up in red and green. <laughs> so I did my nails red. Just did everything early this year. Too dry. Add some water. Let me go. Holly berries on the right need outlines. Oh my goodness, they do. Thank you. The whole holly does. Oh, both of these hollies do. Oh my goodness. I just got so excited about this black background that I just went for it. But yes, I should stop and do those outlines first. Otherwise, things are going to get very um, gooey. Because the pens are not waterproof. I really need to bring in my Micron pens, which are waterproof. But I keep thinking I'll do that, and then at the end of the stream when I'm cleaning up, I don't remember to do it. 
Now I'm starting to think my thoughts. And what if we had done every single goddess um, artwork with a black background? And that would have tied all of the pieces of art together, no matter what the different styles were. You know, 12 months later is not the time to think of that. I guess the Bastet, the ones with the black hair would not have, that would not have worked. Now that I think about it. Shamanic says, Con congrats MC on your weight loss journey. Thank you so much. It has, it is, still continue it continues i was just thinking about that because i was i realized i haven't taken a single sip of my coffee since we started this stream and I looked over and I thought, maybe I'll have a sip of it. But because of the keto diet, I have to use heavy whipping cream because I can't have carbs, which milk has carbs. So I can't just use regular cream. I have to use heavy cream. And so if you don't drink your coffee pretty quick, it grows like this whole like cream skin on the top of the cup of coffee. So it kind of is not great for live streams. <laughs> oh, this is looking so good. Some of these blacks are going to need to get a little bit more zhuzhed up because they, when they dry, they got a little bit light. But that should not be a problem. Inca says, a shamanic journey. I knew a man when I worked in a new age bookstore, he was in high magic. One rough day, I sent him a thought that seeing him would brighten my day. And he came in and he said, you rang? was that I feel like people are not tuned in like that um, in the modern times like since we started having screens in our pockets it'd be so cool to be that tuned in
this is looking great. I'm going to need to get a bigger brush though, because I definitely can't cover all this uh, real estate with this tiny brush, but I just need it for the details. I'll just use this small brush for the edging or we'll be here all night with this black one. I think it was the Halloween palette um, that uh, Scarlet Nymph did last year that had a super, super deep matte black in it. So if you guys are looking for a matte black, definitely check out her store. Scarlet Nymph on Etsy. I think it was that palette. It also had a, a glow in the dark watercolor, which was really cool. And I think it's still available. You'd have to check. Don't take my word for it, just check. Inka says, would you consider a watercolor of Ganesh? He's so beautiful. Well, could that be a Oracle card? I consider Ganesh to be kind of a patron deity for me. Um, I just love the idea of having a patron of creativity. And so I kind of, my altar to Ganesh is set up for that reason, because everything I do on this channel requires creativity from editing to coming up with video ideas to filming to doing artwork, to doing crafts. So if I had an Oracle card that represented creativity, it might be cool to use that imagery. But I'm not doing any more deity um, paintings. I'm gonna, I'm moving into my Oracle cards next year. So everything is kind of focused on that. After this, after this painting, we're gonna I'm move into oracle card paintings. However, I am going to be using some of my live streams from, gosh, two years ago, maybe three years ago, where we did um, shrines. We did we did crafted shrines. I'm going to be editing that uh, those live streams down into shorter videos. So there will be a Ganesha shrine video coming out next year as well. Probably in August, I think, because most of his feast days happen around then. If I can coordinate it correctly, we'll see. Oh, look how good this is looking, you guys. Oh. Mickey says, for those with the black hair, you could have flipped it and used the blonde for the background and then you'd have that theme. Oh, I love that idea. My golden black is great. Red Lorraine says, okay, got to go for my walk now. Got to revamp my healthcare scenarios. Got some bad facts for my physical and have to get back to being super healthy. Okay. Have a great walk. I must, I, I'm sure this was from a minute ago, so I probably missed her. What are we talking about here that says, Try mixing in a little coconut oil. It makes the skin tastier and slows its formation. What did I miss? Um, I don't understand that comment. Oh, coconut oil to the coffee. 
Yes. Okay. I, now I understand the comment. I'm sorry. I was like, what were we talking about before? Cause I, I'm so slow on the reading of the chat. Sorry guys. I'm looking down at this, trying to focus and not get black anywhere. It's not supposed to be. Yeah. The black background. Now I'm, now I'm mad that I didn't think of this before. Tracy, where were you when I needed you? 12 months ago. Who was it? Was it somebody in this live stream who hangs out with me a lot? suggested watching The Love Witch, a movie called The Love Witch. I have a bunch of Amazon credits that are going to go away if I don't use them. And I was thinking about buying that movie. I remember somebody suggesting it to me a long time ago and I never acted on it. And I was like, you know what? I should get that. Shamanic says, I feel like I'm very telepathic. Do you spend a lot of time looking at screens? I feel like that kind of takes me out of um, kind of intuitive connection like that sometimes. I feel like I need to get away from like phones and uh, computers and stuff like that to connect to my intuition more. That might just be me. Ooh, look at that. I don't know how exciting it is to just watch me paint with black. <laughs> but that's what we have left, so <laughs> kind of what I'm doing. Inka Dinka Doodles, the shamanic journey counseling has been more of a calling than a career, but my main thing for 2024 is to be a full-time life coach online, the crafty coach, coach by day, crafter by Etsy. Monic says, I look at a screen, but only when needed, but you're right. And even TV. 
<laughs> Mickey, Mickey's enjoying the, the black lining. It's kind of oddly uh, satisfying, isn't it? Couldn't think of that word for a second. And I love the fact that it hides all my old sketchy lines where I have erased in the background. So that has a double benefit. This is the part that makes me a little nervous because <laughs> the, the areas are small. Don't mess it up. I can fix it in post. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. I have to re keep reminding myself these things so that I don't freak out. Luckily, Photoshop is kind of my thing. I have tens of thousands of hours invested in that program. And I did work for like a marketing and advertising agency back in the day. So I do know how to, you know, like set up files for printers and stuff like that. So. I can do color correction and things like that. That's what gives me the confidence to say that I'm going to do an Oracle deck because I have sent things out professionally for printing before. So I feel confident. This is just too much detail. Helpful says, I'm never bored watching you paint. Watching paint dry, sometimes literally on this channel, but at least we get to chat while we do it. So it's not so, not so boring. Nikki says, Inka, that's wonderful. I spent many years as a therapist. I'm retired from it and not. I'm retired from it and want to go into being a life coach as well. That is so cool. How would you go about becoming a life coach and finding people who need you to coach them? I feel like there are a lot of people out there that are, that need that kind of service. Especially nowadays. It's so hard to figure out what you're supposed to do with yourself. And there are so many options. It's crazy. I feel like there's so many options out there and I want to try everything. But then I'm trying to do everything and it's crazy sauce. But 
but I don't have an off button. I just, everything I see, I want to try. That's why my craft, my channel is called Magical Crafting and it's not anything specific because I'm going to try everything. And give everything a shot. Inga says, Mickey, fortunately you don't need life coach certification in California, but I'm going to go after that as well in 2024. just messed that up. Yeah, I'm sorry, Inka. My um, settings don't allow you to put a, a link in, but you can... You can say what it is, but if you link, it doesn't end up showing up. We tried that, and it, it you only see it on your end, but you don't actually see it. Nobody else actually sees it. So if you just type what it is, then people will have to search. <laughs> Sorry about that. It was because I had to change that setting because we were having all those bots coming into the channel and um, linking all the sites with the naked ladies. I'm hoping that by having a subscriber only chat that it's also a help to uh, remove that as well. And I'm hoping that YouTube probably did something on their end to limit them as well because there was a whole rash of that and then it kind of just went away. So it has to be a combination of something I did and something YouTube did. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do a little bit more detail down here and then we're going to get the big brush and just fill in the big spaces. Good night, Isa. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, I think we can get a big brush now that we got all, all the little tiny things yet. Yay. Whoops. Do not worry about that. Do not look behind the curtain.
much faster with a big brush. Now the sides of this painting always get cut off in the card, so we don't have to fill up the whole thing. Turn this lady upside down. Inka says, Gracie, come pick up the brush for Amy, sweetie. <laughs> no, that little monster does not need to come in here during my live streams. I actually have the door closed because they do not have any ability to regulate what they step on, how they jump, because they have the cerebral cerebral hyperplasia hydroplasia and so they have um, less mo fine motor control so they just stomp around on everything on the desk <laughs> we do not want gracie in this live stream she's a love bug and um she's getting so big you guys but no we cannot have her on the stream she used to be a little kitten so she could come in here and goof around but now that she's getting bigger, she can jump up. So we have the door closed for sure. But she has finally figured out how to get up on the counter in the kitchen and the dining room table. So there is officially no surface that is safe in the house anymore because those were the last two areas that she had not figured out how to get up onto. And so now that those are, that happened this week, we had to buy a, um, a stove cover, like a, like a stainless steel cover for our stove because she was jumping up onto the actual burners. And we were afraid she was gonna accidentally turn one of them on. So now we have a, a stove cover. <laughs> It actually makes the kitchen look a lot cleaner because it hides all the burners. But it's kind of a pain in the butt when you want to cook to have to take it off every time. Because it's enormous. But safety first. Some of this is drying a little bit light, but it can be a second coat can happen. You get the general idea. I feel like her nose, the bottom of her nose is a little bit too low. It's too close to the top lip. Do you guys have that feeling? I think in Photoshop, I might raise that up a little bit. What are your thoughts? Ooh, I love this black background. I'm going to put a little bit of brown in there before I forget. There we go. Ooh, I like it. What do you guys think of this nose? Hi, Cynthia. Welcome. Oh, you just made it at the very end here. Who did I miss up there? Jody. Who else did I miss? I think I got everybody else. Welcome if I missed you. Nobody is late here. That is correct. I might put a few little more... Um, brown lines inside this kind of make it look like wood
Inka says, I'm glad you mentioned the nose. I wanted to, but I didn't know how to say it without sounding not so nice. <laughs> I do not mind. So I'm just going to raise up the bottom of the nose by just a little bit and give it a little bit more space in between and maybe make it slightly less wide because in Photoshop I can just I can just do that super quick. I can't do it in uh, what I'm doing now but look at all that gold. Some of this black needs to be a little darker, but you get the general idea. Can we see the like, there's also this sage green that's metallic, but I'm not sure if it's really showing up that much. But you guys check out um, the Scarlet Nymph shop on Etsy if you want to get any of this these colors we're not going to be doing any new palettes in the new year but we are also going to just uh, keep the old ones I think I can't say for sure because um, I'm not I'm not involved in that part of it. I'm just I'm just in part of the picking colors. That's all I do. She makes beautiful colors and then I'm like, ooh, that one. That's that's the extent of my involvement. Ooh, I like it. I'm happy with her. Are you guys happy with her? Yeah, I wish we'd thought of this black a long time ago. There's a bunch of different ones that would have been great to have a dark background, and then we could have had the other half of them that had dark subject matter have a light background, and then they could have all looked like a set. But you know what? This is it. This is the goddess Frigg, and she is our 12th um, and final goddess painting for 2023. Rosy cheeks. Mmm. To darken in this. Uh, oof, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. She's more of a, a line drawing cartoon kind of thing than a real. A real situation. I should give her like some darkness in the eyes and a little dark in the cheeks, but I don't think I'm going to do that one this time. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. The, um, the live stream for crafting. I hope you all show up to the live stream for crafting because it's on the 20th and that's the day before Yule. So I will be pouring a glass of wine and we'll just be doing some fun little simple crafts and we'll just be chatting and celebrating Yule together. So it'll be more chatting and drinking than it will be crafting, but we will definitely do maybe paint some ornaments or just do some fun little easy craft in the background. So that will be December 20th, Wednesday, the third Wednesday of the month at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And, um, I hope you guys will join me to celebrate Yule together because on the actual day of Yule, I will be at Disneyland. So I'm celebrating a day early with you guys. So I hope you will join me um, on the next stream. Thank you to everybody who hung out with me for this whole two hours and helped me make all these decisions about 
this goddess painting. I will see you on the flippity flop. Thank you. 